Rightio, today's plan. Perfect weather, not no. a cloud in the sky. That's a good start. Uh, we're going to go have some uh, scones at the uh, station, station quarters. yeah, station quarters. Uh, the owner here makes up scones every uh, day, so for a small cost. So we're definitely going to go do that. And we're going to go do Gundabuka National Park. Yep. And walk some gorges. <laughs> nah. We don't know what's there, so I think there's a couple of walks. So we're just going to go have a look at the mountain and see what's around and yeah, go from there, then probably just come back and relax, ha relax and hang around camp. Might do some fishing this afternoon. And yeah, that's about us for today. So, see what we can come up with at the National Park. No, oh, this is the farm stay. The this van. is the farm stay. It's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Grassy areas. Bit of power. Ah, this is spot on. How many scones are you going to eat? <laughs> How many are you going to uh, eat? Probably ten. Nah. They're homemade. Yeah, they should be good. Very nice spot. I have to get that yeah. Yeah. Alan. Hey? Might have to start here. <laughs> <laughs> <There's my> <laughs> <laughs> I don't have this at work. No. Mm. Definitely not. <laughs> Good setting too. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely getting the uh, red dust all over her. Made a bit of a decision. This is the Gundabuka National Park. So, yeah, it's only about 30 k's from where we're camped here. We're camped uh, just here on the river, just there. So we're just here now. So we're gonna go have a look at Bennett's Gorge. And uh, then we'll have a look at the dry tank one, see what to go with it is. Probably spend most of the day here, I reckon, next three or four hours here and see what's happening. And um, go from there. Getting our full hike on. <laughs> trying to. <laughs> yeah, definitely trying to get our full hike on here. I don't know if we're healthy enough. Nah, there. definitely not. There's a big walk there, but I can't see me making that. Mm, no. <laughs> I think we'll just do the view on platform one and then I might do a little piece of it just to have a look. So, see what level I'm at. Yeah. Anyway, I'm all uh, got my hat on, so I'm all, all ready. Sun protected? Yeah. <laughs> cool, let's do it. All right.
incredible place considering it's in the middle of nowhere. There is a uh, snake um, slither marks all over the track, so that's given us a bit of confidence, isn't it? Oh, excellent. Hey? <laughs> yeah, we've already seen one on the road, so yeah, <laughs> the confidence is definitely there for some snakes. <laughs> Anyway, this is the track. We're not going to do the summit walk. We need more time and it's the middle of the day, so... It's warming up. That'll be one for the morning. And it's about 25 to 28 degrees, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, incredible mountain range. This opens up to mountain. So easy. Oh, she's out going. Starting to get steep. You going there? Oh, all right. Yeah. Look at that view out there, eh? Incredible. Mm -hmm. Big rock man. Okay, reader has tapped out. I don't blame her. It's getting a bit ledgy there, so. Bit hard on the knee. There she is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you had enough? Sorry? You've had enough? Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> cool. Alrighto. I'm just going to go another little bit. Whew, the track's starting to get a little bit hectic now. But you are welcomed. That's an awesome view. Yeah. Whew, catch my breath. I want to fit I am. But unreal. Okay. That's about as far as I'm going. It's a nice vantage point here, so I don't need to risk on my own anymore. I would like to get up to the top of that summit, but yeah. No, this is enough for me. We've got a good enough view here, so yeah, real real good up here. No way Rita would have made it up here, so I'm quite glad she stopped. But yeah, we're just gonna, so I'm gonna sit here for 10 minutes and yeah, that'll probably do us. Take it all in. Anywho, we're nearly back down on the flat. Rita's just over there, you probably can't see her on the camera, but she's just over there at a the tree waiting for me, so yeah, we'll go down there and I might get the drone up for a fly and fly it up around these hills. See how we go. After a little chicks? Looking after a little chicks. Uh, did you want to take one home? No. <laughs> no. It's okay. The she looks cranky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Rightio. So we're going to have a bit of a crack at fishing this afternoon. While the camp oven will be on. So this is a little track down into the river. Bit hectic. You want to be... Uh, I've had too many beers going up and down here, I can tell you. It'll be alright when you're down here, but... Yeah, so... Looks like the river is dropping a little bit by the line on the top of the water there it's given, so... Anyway, we can only try, put a couple out and see how we go. Yeah, this is real slippery, this stuff. Uh, I won't be up and down here too many times. As you can see, that's pretty...
pretty steep up there. Mightn't show it on the camera, but that's a pretty steep walk back out, so. Yeah, I won't be doing too many walks back out there. Might just go back up the creek, I think. It's probably the easiest way. And we'll probably put another one across there. Not the greatest fishing spot, but yeah, good camp spot though. Like we said, this doesn't give a crap all, we just like a bit of salt in the pork, so... It just adds a bit of extra flavour. Mmm. Yeah, the maple flavour is what we're after. Mm. It's real good, isn't it? It's beautiful. Mm. Yep. Cool. Good afternoon here. Lovely. Yeah. The wind's starting to drop now, so it's just perfect. It actually gets a bit cooler, doesn't it, with the, in the shade? It's, it's nice. Yeah. On the Cod Frog Show, we do. Yeah. So someone's decided to do the veggies, so yep. give it a work, and yep. using our sandwich bag trick. A bit of oil, uh, a bit of herb and spice in there. Yeah, a bit of salt and pepper. Yep. And then you just do a bit of drizzle of oil. We'll just sit it in there for a bit, push it around, and yep. well done. It's a bit tidier. I do oh. this at home sometimes too, so. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, great. Yeah. Well, that's not that easy to bloody put it everywhere and have to tell it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's heaps good. The mess is up near the camp over there. Yep. Good stuff. Little good tip stuff. and trick from Rita's Unpro Cooking. <laughs> Even though I'm not filming an Unpro Cooking no. episode. We may tomorrow, but uh, yeah, we'll see what see what happens tomorrow. See what the weather permits. Pretty happy with that, but that's good. That's a great idea. Yeah, nice and easy. I might even run that. <coughs> Should do that with a lot of stuff, really. Yep. Steaks and all that sort of stuff. We were getting little bites here, so let's see what happens. There's something on there. Only small, but God knows what it is. Probably a trace or something. A little, little head shake there. Ooh, little head shake. Ooh. Here it is. A little yellow belly. Yeah. Look at that. Nice little yellow belly. <laughs> oh, Stacking too much. River's in good health then, isn't it? Look at that. Nice well little fish. Done. Yeah, just had him hooked too. Yeah, I come down and the rod was just ticking along. I didn't have a bell on it, so. Oh, they're fat too. Mm. Yeah. Healthy looking. Last year's breeder or this year's breeder, maybe. I don't know. He's nice, isn't he? Look at that. Real nice little fish, about 20 odd centimetres, maybe 25. Beautiful little fish. Anyway, we'll get him back in there. There he goes. And well, the worms work. Well done. Yeah, it's good. Nice out here, isn't it? Bit of a chair. Oh, we wrapped it. Ooh, she's charred. But that's what the maple does, eh? Yeah. Cool. It's burnt, but it's actually not. We've had done a few of those before, haven't we? Yeah. Exactly and because we put that extra bit of maple on it. Hey. Because we put that extra bit of maple in it. Yeah, too. nice. Look at that. It's Ooh. quite sweet, actually. Looking forward to that. Right, we'll throw some veggies in. For a minute. That's probably right to go, isn't it? Head shakes. Nice little head shake. Oh yeah. Oh, a couple of head shakes. Might be a bit better this one. Well, this is lively, I'd say. Oh yeah. About the same. Oh, maybe a bit bigger. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger, I think. Nice one. A little bit bigger. 
bigger. Look at that. I think you ought to swallow me hook. Ooh, geez, he's definitely lively. Ooh. Look at that, another nice little yellow belly. Rita. Happy with that. Another one? Another cat. Go away. Oh yeah, that's red hot. I like how the maple just bloody... Yeah. It's like a glaze on it. Mm. Oh. Look at that. I think I'm eating a bit of that. <laughs> End result. End result. Very yummy. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. That took us about, oh, uh, in between the fish. We took the fish time out. It, uh, <laughs> it, you cooked that an hour and a half, easy as hell. Yeah. If not, if not quicker, because it's just, yeah, it's a good, especially in a little camp oven. A bit of gravy. more for me and that'll do. Well, cool. we're eating pretty good. Yeah. Well done. You're getting nicer by the minute out here. Mm. Fish are bite. I just got a carp then so I have this dinner and I might try do a bit more fishing. Okay, well, let's pack up, a bit under an hour, and that's us for today. It is. What are we going to head to today? Maybe a night on the way home? Uh, Lake Kajelico. Kajelico. Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> We're going to go to Lake Kajelico, we think, um, see what's happening there. A couple of free camps there near the town, so we're going to zigzag our way across to the Kidman Way. Uh, a bit of red dirt there, so we'll get across there and, um, yeah, make our way to Cobar. Might have a pie at Cobar, mm -hmm. and then uh, Mount Hope for a beer maybe, the pub's open there, and yeah, then on to Lake, Ag Lake Angelico, so cool, let's do it. see one lizard, shingleback, you see two. Hey, beautiful. Getting some sun boys, hey? Getting some sun. Pretty crazy, isn't it? Usually to see one you're going alright, but to see two together, Well, that's the end of the dirt. That's the end of the dirt. You happy with that now? Yeah. You have to get away from the red dust. Oh, it's not bad, but time for a break. Yeah, <laughs> time to give it a break. Get back on the tar. Yeah. Cool. About 85 k's from Cobar, so we'll zip into there. And I think a nice pie or sausage roll's calling us, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's what it's I It's a little snack now, though. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Alright, well, everything's performed pretty well so far, so happy with how everything's gone. Definitely a bit of red dust about, right? Oh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> Breaking the car in, she's broken in. Got some dust on the back of her. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh well. Let's get to a bakery, eh? Yep.
Have to get the had to get the uh, standard tow bar picture shots. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Looks like it's a local burnout pad, but anywho, we'll get up here for a look. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, the whole town, that's alright. Must be worth it. Shit. Yeah, okay. Wow, <laughs> it is worth having a look. It's a lot of mountain eyes, they're all peak hill or something. Yeah. Stop for a Royal Hotel, Mount Hope. Should be good. Couple hundred Ks. How's going well? Okay, just pulled up at Lake Cajelico. Little free camp or donation camp. Um, Frog Hollow. Frog's Hollow, that's what it's called. Frog's Hollow, yeah. yeah. Really good, right on the lake. Quick set up here, we're just on the fence line. There's not much room, it's just enough to for a quick overnight pull up or a couple of nights. So, yeah, lake's just over there. We were gonna set up over there, but it's a bit uneven, so we didn't want to bust to get the trailer set up or anything like that. But, yeah, no, not bad at all. This'll be us for the night, quick flip over and yeah, cook up a steak later and that'll be about us, eh? Nice spot, eh? It is. Hmm. All right, for a donation. Jeez, yeah. crazy. Good spot here at Lake Lake Angelico. A few other vanners here, obviously a very popular spot. And the police monitors. Yeah, we were out of visit through from yeah. the police, so that's that's good. At least you know you're a little bit secure. So, yeah, down there is the highway. It's a good spot down there, but I reckon you get too much road noise. So we're right in the middle. And yeah, this will be about our afternoon, I'd say, sitting and looking at the lake. Right, oh, well that's a cap on our little outback, New South Wales outback trip. Uh, we finished at Lake Cajelico. Meant to be raining here this morning, like full on <laughs> predictions of, I don't know, 20 mil, but that, well, I think we got about 20 spots, so that was good. No wet pack up, we usually always have a wet pack up, don't we? <laughs> so, we've survived a pretty wild weather week. Um, we got away from it out at Burke, as you would have seen on the video, there's um, a few good spots out there, so. We're pretty happy with that, and uh, yeah, made our way to Lake, Lake Gajelico yesterday and yeah, finished the night here. A nice, peaceful night in the yeah. free camp. It's a good spot here, so great little town. So, anyway, we're about three hours from home, so we're going to pack up and head. So, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Remember to give the video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming adventures.